Now for the drum roll. For everybody that is just has standard mill without mill 3D, in 2021, you did not have the option to use OptiRough. With Mastercam 2022, with standard mill, you now have the option to use OptiRough. And if you don't know what OptiRough is, OptiRough allows you to basically select a solid model, like what we have here, and set in some conditions to where you can cut deeper and cut multiple levels with inside your part, or multiple heights, I should say, as well as make cuts coming back up from those depths to catch the areas that you may have missed that need to be taken care of. So we'll take a look at this. I want to select OptiRough. My 3D high-speed toolpath dynamic OptiRough window will pop up for me. Uh, the first thing it's asking is for our machining geometry. We have no entities selected at this point. So down here at the bottom right it says select entities. Now it's saying to select a solid face surface or mesh and it shows different ways inside of this tooltip of how to select all of the entities. So I'm going to make this one real easy. You can triple click. So if I come over and go over to the top of mine and just click three times, one, two, three, notice it selects all of my entities. Or you have the option of coming up here and turning off faces and just selecting a solid. So either way works, a triple click or changing your selection to a body selection up here. I'm going to go ahead and end my selection. Now you see we have 440 entities. We have 50,000 worth of wall stock as well as floor stock. Uh, we have no avoidance region uh, that we're wanting to avoid right now, so we don't need to select those, but we could if we needed to. For my toolpath control, I have a containment boundary. I want to keep my tool contained to an area. So I'm going to go ahead and select my containment boundary, and that's going to be my stock. So again, creating this line geometry that we created when we did our bounding box is coming in handy now. One more wireframe chaining. I'm going to make sure I'm in wireframe mode, C-plane, and I'm just going to select that top edge of my stock, or what was my stock. That's just giving Mastercam an area that we know where the material is and where I need to start from. So I'll green check and I'm going to go through my strategy. So my strategy is already set for from outside. So it's going to start outside of my material. We are going to go to the tip. It's grayed out. For our compensation type, we can say inside the containment to the center of the containment or outside. I'm going to go ahead and select outside. I want it to come from the outside of my part. We do have some other options in here like skip pockets. Uh, we can tell it to skip certain pockets. Uh, we can either say skip all or smaller than. Uh, again, this information uh, is covered in a lot more detail uh, inside of our Mastercam Mill Essentials training that you can sign up for. I'm going to go ahead and select my tool. I'm going to use a half inch flat end mill and I'm going to put a comment just rough and that's just going to rough the part down. For my cut parameters next, um, I'm going to jump back. We also have the option to select holders and we have multiple multiple holders uh, that you can choose from anyway, anywhere from uh, cat 40s, 50s to HSKs. So for this one I'll just go ahead and give you an example of it. Let me move up and find about a half inch holder. Eh, it might be a little bit long but that's okay. Uh, we can also change the projection of the tool, so I'm gonna that tool is hanging out quite far, so I'm gonna go ahead and change my projection to maybe two inches. That way, I know I can get to the bottom of this without having to worry about my holder or anything. Uh, now we'll get into our cut parameters, and we'll do a climb cut. Uh, we want to climb cut on this. We have our step over values, so how far is our tool gonna step over? So I'm going to go ahead and put it to 15%. Uh, step down. I'm going to go ahead and change that to a half inch. Uh, for the rest of this, uh, this is just our back feed 
a micro lift so if it has to pick up it helps it avoid the chips uh, we also have the option for motion gap size retract there are some options in there um, again guys we cover all this uh, really in depth inside of our meal essentials training uh, for right now I'm going to leave my steep and shallow where it's at uh, linking parameters this is your entry exit most motion in and out of the cuts these can be covered in a lot more detail as well for now that's all I'm going to look at um, everything else we're going to leave to default and I'm going to go ahead and green check and we'll let this regenerate and now that we have it regenerated we can kind of see our toolpath and notice we're getting a fairly decent toolpath around there and it's roughing out the majority of that part for us.